I, I only really recently um, became attracted to the possibility of working in the policy space. I'm trained as a scientist. And so I took that route because I thought that science was the way that I would sort of work on the projects that were most important to me. Um, I was, for my PhD, actually, I worked to develop um, improved treatment for blood disorders. And so I never really considered the path from creating that medicine to actually reaching the patient until about my third year. So those considerations led me to a policy internship at the WHO. And I think that was really transformative in terms of like my career aspirations and even just my perspective of thinking of the many ways that I can use my research skills and my interests to sort of um, participate in solving the problems that matter to me most. So I came back from Geneva um, with just this passion for being more involved in policy, but I had absolutely no idea of how to do so. Um, what I did decide was that I would not do a traditional postdoc and that I would look for something that was sort of in between. And that led me to the University Health Network for three years. I think that was also transformative because I had two amazing mentors who sort of pushed me in the direction of policy. Um, my PhD supervisor had done that as well because he was the one who told me, go, go, you, you know, you have to do this. Um, and so those experiences, um, those experiences sort of give me the confidence to say, you know, I will pursue it somehow. Like I knew that I would do it, I just didn't know how. And then very randomly uh, um, during a layover, um, I saw on my LinkedIn feed that the RPL competition was um, being advertised. It looked like precisely what I was interested in, but I still, you know, I was kind of like, are they looking for someone with government experience? You know, I wasn't sure. But I, you know, if you have a long layover and you see something like this, you know, you kind of make use of that layover, which is what I did. So um, I applied for it. I think it was about three days before the deadline that I saw it. So I, you know, very quickly got all my documents and, um, and wrote in and, and here I am. <laughs> I work with the Life Sciences Industries Directorate at ICED, which is Innovation Science and Economic Development Canada. Um, my tasks are very varied. Um, you know, we're interested in the life sciences ecosystem. So we're interested in pushing forward innovation. We're interested in strengthening the ecosystem. We're interested in talent. Like there's so many different dimensions. So a lot of the work that I do is research support. Um, I also do a lot of writing um, producing documents for um, the leaders in my department. Um, I've been in the role just about 11 months now. And, you know, I, I'm shifting now to more, to taking on a bit more from um, the project management perspective as well. So um, it's been sort of uh, a wild ride where there's never a dull moment. I'm very much um, sort of, uh, involved in gathering intelligence on the life sciences sector. And, you know, COVID has been sort of our focal point, as you can imagine. So I feel like it's super exciting to be in this space right now. Um, I think that uh, I feel very privileged to be able to um, participate at a time when the world actually needs life sciences solutions and strategic, strategic thinking. So, um, yeah, I have nothing but good things to say about my department and the leadership. Like I feel very well supported and, and my director, I think he really um, knows my interests and, and sort of propels me in those directions. So um, I'm very pleased. You know, it's funny the questions that we have in our heads about what you know like they'll never pick me or you know all these things that they come from like zero evidence so for the person who's hesitant and thinking i'd love to do this but you know what they'll probably never pick me pick me just silence that voice in your head go off, go forward and apply um you never know um for those who love policy i think even the process of how you are recruited in this program it will make you so happy. Like it's like all of the different exercises and tests 
um, if you're a policy buff, I think it's certainly the thing um, for you. So yeah, I, I would suggest that you try. Um, you may be surprised, um, but you'll definitely learn a ton. That's been my experience. And I think being a part of the RPL community now, it feels you know, like a huge privilege because I think everybody operates at such a high level. Um, it pushes you to be really your best. And that's something that's really important to me.